Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. While it is crucial to take care of sanitization to fight against COVID-19, there are also other things we can do and one of them is to improve our immunity, which is paramount at this juncture. Amidst many other things to improve our immunity, one of them is our diet. And again, multiple food items help us for that. And among these items are almonds. So almonds are highly nutritious and rich in healthy fats, antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. Almonds are high in vitamin E that acts as an antioxidant in your body and helps uh, immune system to function properly. They also contain iron and protein and that are essential for your immune system. Now I used to give almonds to all my family members daily during breakfast but these days due to all routine going haywire kids were not taking them in routine and my kids are fond of uh, summer cooling drinks and shakes uh, so I thought I'll be giving them almonds but with a twist. I made almond sherbet or we can say badam ka sherbet. This is a concentrate which we can mix with water or milk to make chilled or hot drinks. So I thought if I am making it for my kids, why not to share the recipe with you all so that all the mothers can try the same with their kids. So let's get started. So for this recipe we need 250 grams of almonds. Now these are California almonds. You can use whatever is uh, there with you or is available. Firstly we wash these almonds and then we soak them overnight in water. You can also soak it for few hours in warm water but overnight soaking is always better and recommended. Then in the morning I remove the skin of these almonds. Now I am going to take these out of water and then grind them to a paste. So first of all uh, I am going to drain the water. So I am taking a strainer over a bowl and I am going to pour the water with these almonds into this. And now I'm adding the almonds in my mixer jar. And to grind uh, these, I'm adding half a cup of water into this. Now just close the lid and switch on the mixer. So I'm going to add half a cup of water more into this and grind again. Now one by four cup more because the uh, battery is still not smooth. Now see the almonds are properly ground, there is no grain in it and it's quite smooth now. Now this is really important that the almond mixture should be smooth, there should be no grains at all. And also don't add all the water in one go, add the water gradually while grinding. And now this is 1 kg of sugar, uh, I am taking normal crystallized sugar, you can also take uh, uh, the powdered sugar over here. And now I'm going to add this sugar in a kadahi or a pot or any kind of pan. So here goes the sugar. And now into this I'm going to add the almond paste that I just prepared in the mix mixer. a spatula so that it's easy for me to add the almond paste into this I'm going to use every bit of it not going to waste anything And now use every bit of these uh, almonds uh, or almond paste. I'm going to add some water into the mixer jar. Just mix everything and add this water 
into my pan and now we are going to mix uh, these properly we will first mix this uh, before uh, putting this on the fire because it's very important to mix uh, the sugar and the almond paste because if it is not mixed properly the sugar uh, will be uh, sticking at the bottom of the pan once we put it on the burner and here now I am adding a saffron into this I dipped 1 fourth teaspoon of saffron into uh, some warm water for half an hour and now I am adding this uh, into my almond and sugar paste and I am going to mix this together again now you can also add some food color if you want but I don't like to add it uh, so it's totally optional so now it's mixed properly and I'm going to keep this uh, on the burner so here it goes and now we need to stir it continuously otherwise sugar will get burnt now this mixture is giving such a nice aroma of saffron while we are heating it you know almonds are generally good for kids if you give them uh, almonds directly to eat maybe they will not uh, like to have but making an almond drink can be a good idea and you can also serve them as a morning drink or you can give them with breakfast so the sugar has almost mixed and now I am adding into it a teaspoon of cardamom powder now this cardamom powder is white because I ground it with some sugar so here is a quick tip if you have lesser quantity of cardamom and it's difficult um, or not possible to grind those in a mixer add some sugar to that it makes the grinding possible and it's easy both and always add the cardamom powder uh, during the end now one thing you must be thinking is that it's having a lot of sugar which is not good for kids but remember this is a concentrate you have to add one or one and a half tablespoon of this concentrate to a glass of milk or water so in that case sugar is not too much now see saffron has also started to leave its color now saffron has many qualities like it is good for the skin it is a powerful antioxidant so this is a best ring to have during summers I remember this is this as a part of my childhood too like even after my marriage I remember my mom sending me a bottle or two of this drink during summers you know you can also serve this to your guest uh, because you know it's a royal drink but which is very unlikely these days as we all are locked in our homes now the sugar has been dissolved properly the saffron has uh, just uh, given its color and fragrance both so it's almost done now seems to be ready and thick enough so and uh, now I'm going to switch off the burner and then I'll let it cool for some time maybe for a few hours now once it is properly cooled pour it in a glass bottle and you can keep it for two to three months and now I'll show you how to prepare the drink so I'm taking about a one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon of this mixture this concentrate in my glass and I'm going to pour some milk over it firstly I've added little milk I'll gradually add more after mixing this so I'm stirring this properly until the almond concentrate is properly mixed with the milk so here it goes 
I'll be adding some more milk into this. Mix it again. Now if you're making for more than one person, I would suggest you to use your blender. And now once this is mixed properly, I'm going to add some ice cubes into this. And so here is our glass of almond flavor, flavored milk. And now I'm going to prepare another drink with water. So here goes the almond concentrate. And now I'm going to pour some water into this. And just going to give it a quick stir. looks like milk here now going to add some ice cubes into this so so here are our two drinks which we can serve to our kids it's their choice they can have either in water or with milk and I promise you they are going to love it so I hope you like this recipe if you like it, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe. And also let me know in the comment section below what all you want me to make or bake for you during this lockdown period. So until we meet again, stay home, stay safe and cook with me.